I want to share a couple more mindset things that um, I hope will inspire you and encourage you in your authentic outreach. Uh, because ultimately, in my opinion, it is a mindset issue. Like if you had a, 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 a mind and heart that feels inspired and encouraged to do this kind of outreach, you'll do it in your own way. And you'll do it probably uh, without me having to say anything about how to do it because you'll, you know, you'll be authentic to you. So the first uh, additional mindset thing I want to share with you is just this, this very deep movement that we're really doing when we're doing authentic outreach is moving from fear to love. In my opinion, that's really the core of authentic business is, and maybe the core of personal growth, right? Is we're moving from fear to love. And authentic outreach is a very clear example of that. Most of us, myself included, sometimes have some anxiety or, or worse about reaching out. We have doubt. We have a fear of rejection. Um, fear of not just not, not even rejection, just fear of not hearing back from these people who are reaching out to. And it feels badly when we don't hear back, of course, right? So these are fears. These are negative emotions. And um, it's an opportunity for us. I always think of authentic business is really a stage for personal and spiritual growth. <laughs> to me, that's really what it's about. It just happens to be we get some clients. We serve them with our services. But to me, at the end of the day, the, the most important thing in life, right, is to you know, move from fear to love like truly embodied way and the authentic outreach is that so we're moving from this fear we're placing whenever you sense that fear or anxiety or doubt about reaching out i want you now going forward to recognize that oh this is the opportunity that george was talking about that that's that's really kind of deeper reason why we're doing this i rec i recognize the opportunity thank you fear thank you anxiety thank you doubt thank you um you know whatever it is you know Thank you for this opportunity. Now I will replace that feeling. Again, I'm not an embodiment expert. So work with your embodiment methods and with, work with your coach on this. How can I replace that embodiment with the love of connection and service and blessing, no matter if they ever write back to us or if they write back something that's not as nice as we hoped. Replace it with love, with service, with blessing right and so and and the um yeah and, and the and the interesting thing about it is if you keep doing this regularly and consistently you're going to get new clients it's like almost certainly because one you're doing it you're doing outreach consistently and most of your other peers are not doing it consistently number one that's there's the, there's the practical element of it number two you're doing it from this energy of connection and service and blessing of course you're going to get new clients from this of course Right. Um, I was talking about this uh, on another call and someone mentioned that they found themselves having the pattern of protecting themselves from from being hurt. And I just want to say I'm really proud of that awareness because most people don't reach out and they're not aware of that, that that pattern or that thought process. Right. And I also want to thank uh, Mira for saying something. It's actually, I didn't hear it from Mira directly. I heard it from someone said, oh, I heard Mira say this. And I go, oh, wonderful. Uh, Mira, Mira Rao, the person who um, did a guest segment earlier in this course. Mira apparently said this. And Mira, are, are you here? You, uh, Mira is still here right now. Yeah. So Mira, you apparently said this to someone. Let yourself love people and allow people to love you back. That's the perfect summary of authentic outreach let yourself love people love the people that's on your top 100 list at least and then allow people to love you back and tamsin young says yes i wrote a post about that thank you tamsin <laughs> thank you for that so move from fear to love then your authentic outreach can itself be a spiritual practice so i look forward to seeing your comments below